Welcome to the latest episode of Fame Biography. Today we're going to talk about Jon Stewart's talk about politics and U.S. presidents and also Mary Trump's fiery reaction to Jon Stewart's comeback on The Daily Show. As you may know, Jon Stewart, the legendary comedian and former host of The Daily Show, made a surprise appearance on his old show on Monday night, after a nine-year absence. He is back to host the show on a part-time basis, until the 2024 election season is over. He said he missed being on the show, and he wanted to share his thoughts on the current state of affairs in the country. Stewart did not hold back on his jokes and criticisms of both President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump, who are likely to face each other again in the 2024 presidential race. He said they are both stretching the limits with their abilities to take on the top White House job. He also made fun of their age, their fitness, their memory, and their legal troubles. American comedian TV personality Jon Stewart is known for his unapologetic humor and pointed opinions on American politics and culture. Jon Stewart has been quoted saying he is neither a Democrat nor a Republican. Stewart isn't officially registered with either party. Instead, his political leanings fall more within the realm of socialist or independent. However, Stewart maintains that identifying as a socialist doesn't indicate that he holds static political opinions. Jon Stewart was one of the first celebrities to personalize his brand of political satire and social justice charged comedy. In the 16 years Stewart spent hosting The Daily Show from 1999 to 2015, he solidified this specific genre of comedy that blends current national and world affairs with satire. In fact, some have suggested that Stewart's impact on public viewers from his time on The Daily Show has in some ways shaped the oversaturated world of media we live in today. Indeed, our views on politics are no longer shaped by government officials and politicians alone. TV personalities and celebrities like Stewart, John Oliver, and even people like Tommy Lahren have a huge influence over how the average American understands political happenings in the U.S. Stewart's vocalism when it comes to politics didn't cease when he left The Daily Show in 2015. In 2020, Jon Stewart wrote and directed a politically charged comedy film called Irresistible. Jon Stewart is a funny man who dons several hats. With his witty and sarcastic style of hosting talk shows and a keen sense of humor that never fails to elicit laughter from his fans, Stewart is one of the most loved comedians today. He started his career as a stand-up comedian and soon branched into television as a comedy show host. His success on the small screen prompted him to try his luck at films, and he went on to act in several movies as well. Born as Jonathan Stewart Leibovitz, the young boy was a mischief-maker and class clown from an early age. Famous for his ability to make others laugh in school, he decided to make a career out of his passion. He adopted the stage name John Stewart and started performing regularly at the Comedy Cellar. He worked hard on his comedic style and soon landed a job as a writer for the television show Caroline's Comedy Hour. He also began hosting shows and within a couple of years developed his own show, The John Stewart Show broadcast on MTV. Over the years he has made the transition to direction and production as well by opening his own production house Busboy Productions. Stewart said that Biden and Trump are the oldest people ever to run for president, breaking the record that they set last time. He said that Biden's recent press conference, where he tried to defend himself against the special counsel report that questioned his memory and his handling of classified documents, was a disaster. He said that Biden looked confused, lost, and forgetful, and that he made several gaffes and mistakes. He also said that Biden's TikTok video, where he talked about chocolate chip cookies, made him look even older. Stewart said that Trump, on the other hand, was not any better. He said that Trump was facing four indictments and that he was found liable for sexual abuse and defamation. He said that Trump's certainty, his ridiculousness, his shamelessness is what made him dangerous. He also compared him to dictators like Saddam Hussein and Muammar Gaddafi, who seemed absurd and comic. He said that Trump was still trying to undermine the election results and incite violence, and that he was a threat to democracy and security. Stewart is known as an outspoken, humorous critic of personality-driven media shows, in particular, those of the U.S. media broadcast networks such as CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC. Critics say Stewart benefits from a double standard. He critiques other news shows from the safe, removed position of his news satire desk, 
Stewart asserts that neither his show nor Comedy Central purport to be anything other than satire and comedy. Stewart has criticized Republicans for what he perceives as their hypocrisy when it comes to supporting things like Medicare, while simultaneously rejecting Obamacare. He feels this hypocrisy is widespread, and that it's even reared its ugly head when it comes to deciding which renewable energy sources would be subsidized by the federal government. In 2012, many Republicans were supporting the subsidization of ethanol-based energy, aka energy created by processing corn, and rejecting the subsidization of solar energy. Stewart took these critiques so far as to feature segments about them on The Daily Show. While Jon Stewart's political views are undeniably left-leaning, the celebrated comedian has not always voted for Democratic or independent candidates. In a 2011 interview with Christopher Wallace of Fox News, Stewart admitted having voted for George H.W. Bush in 1988. Compared to his Democrat opponent Michael Dukakis, Stewart believed that Bush Sr. had a level of integrity that was admirable enough to garner his vote. This is not to say that Stewart was ever a Republican or supporter of Fox News, however. In fact, this particular conversation between Wallace and Stewart had gotten pretty heated. Stewart's jokes and criticisms were not well received by everyone, especially by some of Trump's and Biden's supporters and relatives. Mary Trump, the niece of Donald Trump and a vocal critic of her uncle, blasted Stewart for his both sides bullshit and his potential disaster for democracy. She accused him of helping her uncle with his false equivalence between Biden and Trump and of ignoring the achievements of the current administration and the crimes of the previous one. She called Stewart a danger to democracy and a twilight zone of boss cynicism in her ex-post and newsletter. She also wrote a newsletter titled, John Stewart's Danger to Democracy, where she expanded on her position and argued that Stewart had entered the twilight zone of boss cynicism. She said that the stakes in 2024 are existential and that Stewart's rhetoric is an injustice to his audience and to the truth. So what do you think of Mary Trump's response to John Stewart's return? Do you agree with her that Stewart is a danger to democracy? Or do you think he is just doing his job as a comedian and a satirist? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more hot takes. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.